Hi everyone, welcome to your newest addition to this channel. It is Good Morning Tea, where Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I would read everybody and inspire you with some oracle cards. So how about, let's make your tea now. asking me how to get the most accurate placement of your zodiac sign. I use Cosmic Inside App. I just put my name, time, place of birth, and then I get all the details of my natal chart. Your sun sign, your moon sign, your ascendant, and other planets as well. So, download it. It's in my affiliate link below. Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel, we're doing your reading. It's a full moon, how are you? <laughs> so I... Uh, sorry. Okay, <laughs> got bothered. Okay, so first of all, this is your one century announcement. So it's gonna take time. <laughs> now we're doing your reading. Uh, but before we start, make sure you check in the description box um, the app, the astrology app. Of course, it's based on Sidera Astrology. Um, so I'm gonna be um, uh, doing tutorials on how to use it. It's it's gonna be one amazing project that I'm I'm doing. Okay, so make sure you check that out. Um, and then we'll be unlocking mysteries and magic of your chart. You know, and it has a lot of information that is uh, readily available. Also, like you won't even need me once I just show you how to use it. Okay, so make sure you download it. And then uh, make sh uh, the webinar for the 21 and the 28. So make sure you already um, have uh, subscribed to that. Also, it's gonna be in the description. Any kind of personal reading and personal services like massage. Okay, I do offer. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> if I, I will be able to catch up, I feel, by the end of the week if you have any personal reading with me. And as always, I do once a week um, birth chart and birth tower. <laughs> Okay, so so there's that one. Uh, what else? I'm just feeling good. Um, it is the full moon, so it just means it's just like any other full moon. <laughs> no, it's it's aspect thing. The sun is in aqua, the moon, of course, and Mercury is Mercury and sun together. It's in retrograde in aqua, and then moon is in uh, is in Leo. Um, so I post that in the transits in Salvador IG. So make sure you know transit planets and the stars in IG story. So I post it there. Um, I'm not gonna be doing any kind of astrology for this one, but I know there's extended one, extended two. Um, so if extended one is the first video that you're gonna be watching, if you do not resonate with that one, then you're gonna be in the extended two. So don't get confused. Um, I feel like that's it. Anything else? Uh, well, I did say this is a century of announcement, so um, this might take a while. <laughs> Okay, let's start your reading. All right, Libra, so let's start your reading. How are you? Okay, let's start it. Okay. Um, but of course, we're gonna discuss first the moon. The moon! What's the moon? Is there moon? Is there feelings? Is there mom? Is there credit card? Is a lot of things that we don't know much because there's always the darker side. But of course, it's full right now. And it's happening in Leo, in the Nakshatra of Purva Palguni. It's not in Virgo, okay? So it's happening where? In your 11th house, okay? So you have an axis of 11, okay? So what does it mean, Sal, if it's in the 11th house? Your friends, your network, your dreams and desire. The luminaries would be there. It illuminates it. It's gl it's glowing there. Okay. Um, is it good? Um, I feel like it's fine. Okay. 
Because you want to, for me, I want to see their Mars, right? Uh, but of course, Moon goes everywhere. <laughs> so, but right now, it's suspicious because it's full over there. Um, it's showing everything. It illuminates. You might find out, ooh, who's your real friends? Yes, you might find out who you're really uh, uh, is there for you. Okay. Now, it also shows here um, might be uh, an income that is just gonna be coming to you that you didn't see. Um, um, let's just say you found. Uh, in in your pocket in your old bag that you have some stash okay not that 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 stash that you bring out to party but some cash okay you might find some cash over there mm -hmm. or you probably uh, will see your missing credit card also you might find it mm -hmm. mm. spicy potato with a libra four of ones okay four of ones what does it mean? <laughs> Aries. Why? Why Aries? Venus is in Aries, right? Mm. Of course, relationship will look into you right now. We've had this, right? We've had this. Um, of course, oh, by the way, if you're gonna, okay, for the Nazis of the internet community, the community of the Westerners that they're gonna tell us in Virgo, I, I follow sidereal, so meaning, you know, it, we just follow where the star is. Okay. Uh, four of Wands. It's highlight right now. Venus in Aries. Um, I feel like it moved already because I don't have my computer here. Um, it probably moved um, from... Uh, it's probably in Barani already. Okay. Uh, Nakshatra wise. Um, so it's uh, looking... Sorry. Okay. It's, it's vibrating is the mom. <laughs> and we know the mom is Libran. Yes. Mm. Uh, can be um, someone is uh, looking at you like uh, very desirable right now it's your highlight Venus is natural ruler of the seventh so um, relationship partnership is the highlight um, this is also receiving some acknowledgement at work uh, you might get some gifts at work also um, I feel like uh, someone is very drawn to you and you're very drawn to them um, this is your home life also for yeah mm. There's a lot of focus in your home life. You're going to ask yourself, why? Because you have Libra, Scorpio, Sag, Capricorn. And where's Saturn since January 24? Capricorn. So, home life, comfort is very much your focus. Organizing, you know, the home. Fixing everything you know, inside the home. Mm -hmm. Might be doing some sort of spring cleaning also. Ace of Cups, I told you, I told you. Venus, love, relationship, partnership, yes? Mm. Is the highlight. You're looking good, of course, for, to them. Mm -hmm. I mean, in general, of course, you're looking good. Um, but I feel here that uh, they're drawn to you mm -hmm. very much. Oh, this is just too low. Uh, oh. I feel like I'm, I'm Jackie Chan right now because I'm moving it with my one hand. <laughs> the mic. Mm. So I just feel here that you are um, very much attractive to them. It's a new person with the Ace of Cups. Uh, wants to connect with you emotionally. Um, let's say Ace of Cups. Um, Ace of Cups, Scorpio also, right? Mm. Is your second house. Nothing's going there, okay, right now because everything is in your third and fourth. Um, having the Ace of Cups also shows that you are, um, how to say this, uh, uh, you're becoming, uh, how to say this, uh, intuitively aligned with this person, I feel, because the Ace of Cups is very uh, intuitively connected, it's emotion, water, okay, um, if it's not intuitive, emotional attachment, this is what they're having towards you, they really like you, mm -hmm. okay, let's see. Five of Wands, okay. So, not just one. Leave it to the Libra to have options always, right? Mm -hmm. Especially at this time. People trying to fight for attention. It's a struggle for this person to get to you right away. Um, I feel like they're leaning towards, uh, how to say this, uh, being with you. Um, and they want to partner uh, with you, the Ace of Cups. Five of Wands, though, they know that they have to compete for you. 
Because mm-hmm. you complete. When you're complete, people compete. You understand me? Because four of ones, you're doing good. Mm-hmm. Um, however, the the five of ones, you might attract um, problems also right now uh, with the five of ones. Um, it can be friends. Uh, I told you, um, you might have some issues with them, or they might have issues with you. Mm. Queen of Pentacles, stable, secure, that's you, you're doing what is right, you're taking care of yourself. Um, I feel that you are uh, looking on who you can offer this. It's almost like you're trying to select who among these people uh-huh. <laughs> that you can trust, with, you know, it's like with what you have worked hard for. Mm-hmm. Six of Cups. So the Six of Cups um, shows past life connection. So let's dive deep, deeper to a past life connection. What it really means. Unresolved, not unresolved, unfinished karma. And for me, um, Six of Cups is always your Darakarka. Um, if you download the app, okay, you will see the lowest degree. And that's your past life. So if you want to know who's your real soulmate, and so you do not have to say, is he my soulmate? Yeah, yeah. So you will see them, okay? So download it, and then once you see your chart, of course, it's sidereal, okay? It's sidereal. It means it's accurate. That's the only meaning, okay? If it's sidereal, it's accurate. That's it. Because it predicts time, okay? It does not do anything besides predicting what's happening in the future and the past life karma, okay? So what is this past life karma that you guys had, okay? The lowest degree, the dark karka, will show the soul level of the person that you will be attracting. Who are they as a soul? Okay. So how do you see their soul is your the planet with the lowest degree? The sun, Venus, Mars, you know. Um, I always say if it's a sun, dark karka, then it's someone who's influential. They have power, they have influence, kingship, basically energy, fame. You know, they have their certain following. Um, It doesn't mean that they're going to be Leo, not at all. It's just, remember, it's a soul. Okay. Moon, okay. Venus, it's going to show who this person is. That's why I I want people to get to know themselves by really looking into their chart. Because I can't do this forever, Libra. Okay. I like to make, I like to bake, I like to cook. (laughs) Take the cups. So it's not just, ooh, reconciliation, uh, uh, not like that. Mm-hmm. It's also my Navamsha card, right? Destiny. Let me give this to the Libra, since you guys are so important with regards to partnership. D9 Navamsha is your marriage chart. I always talk about this. Once you know who your marriage chart is, when the person okay, is far from you, meaning you're not yet with a person, you can see them in that chart, in that, uh, you know, that Varga, that, uh, which is called Navamsha. It's your marriage chart. So you do not just be one chart. You have 17 charts. So you will have to change every time. Of course, you're going to say, I'm tired. I just want you to let, you know, tell me what who this person is, da da da. Then, you know, do your own thing. Buy your, your own tarot reading. Okay, <laughs> meaning buy your own deck. Okay. <laughs> you got to learn. Okay, don't be lazy. Mm-hmm. Don't be lazy. So look where Venus is, okay, first, because it's the uh, it's the Lord of the chart, and then look for the Ju- for Jupiter, and you will see who this person is. Oh, you can tell everything. Mm-hmm. The Star card, another Destiny card. Mm. It's really saying if you want to know. Okay. The Star card. Mm. Amazing, isn't it? Because this is the person from past life. This is my destiny card again. So whoever this person is, it's a, it, I'm going to leave you clueless over here. Because you're going to find out on your own. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I may be mean by saying that. But it's not my assignment. Ooh, I know those people. I know those astrologers who says that. It's not my assignment. You have to do your own assignment. Oopsie. But I'm not that kind. Partly, yes. So I'm going to show you. Sit down. If you're bored... And go to another one. 
Okay, so I have a I have a chart here. I like this calm self of mine because they didn't put crack right now in my coffee and water. They put crack in my coffee sometimes. Okay, so I don't have a phony profile because <laughs> these are real people. So we oh this is you. Okay, so I call it this is you. Okay, this is your personal profile. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now I'm gonna go chart. Okay, planet house details. Okay, I'm gonna go planet. And look at that. It's gonna show you all the degrees. So for example, this person, it's gonna say Dara Karka Moon. Okay, Dara Karka Moon. So now you will know who they are mm -hmm. in your chart. Now this is the chart that you will have. Okay, it will show you your ascendant, everything that you need. Mm -hmm. Uh, you just have to put your time, place of birth. Okay, D1. Mm. Mm. So that's that. Who you're destined to be with. Okay, you will know. Let's keep going. We call it in my native country, let's go sago. Okay. Ah, come on! The lovers. <laughs> so this has soulmate written all over. Okay. It also have it also has a personal remedies <laughs> on how you can connect with your soulmate. So Shiva is because uh, Shiva is, and Parvati. Okay, they're the divine uh, DM and DF, feminine and masculine. Yes, that's why when we celebrated the uh, recent, uh, I forgot. Uh, it's in my Instagram also. I just like to share people right now. That's in, that's my mode. Okay. Uh, the recent one, the reason I post on Instagram, it was uh, 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 it was uh, uh, Maha Shivatri. Uh, Ma, oh yeah, uh, Maha Shivat Shivratri. Okay. So um, this is you know the celebration of their union. Okay. So. Um, for people who does not know, uh, you know, reciting the mantra of uh, Shiva connects you with your past life person, mm -hmm. um, which is very good. Uh, it's your Kundalini also related to it because um, it's the lotus position when you're meditating. There's a lot to it. The app will tell you everything that I'm telling you right now because, but the thing is, it's like on a personal level, you will have it. Um, so this again is your soulmate. <laughs> The Six of Cups is your past life, and I feel like right now, you guys will meet again, and divine timing, divine timing is at work. Because it's a transit, that's why I keep saying, okay, partnership is where it is right now, in your uh, gochara, which is the transit. Transit-wise, it's unlocking the karma of you know, Venus looking at, your, at, at you. And sitting on its uh, uh, very comfortable house, seventh house. Okay, so I'll continue this reading. Okay, it's more of a tutorial on how you can really know who the person is instead of you playing guessing game. Okay, so it's very positive. I'll continue. Follow me in the other side as you finally connect with the person that you're meant to be with, and it's amazing. Bye, Libra. Libra, mm, what was that about? <laughs> Just her pendants. I always say this. Why Sal is glowing? One, a lot of coffee. Okay, a lot of this on the side, hidden. Okay, <laughs> and then the pendant. Okay, so get your coffee. Even though it's bad, it's fine. You know, we're all gonna live a life. You know, <laughs> life is too short. Drink coffee. That's how I look at it. <laughs> and yeah, I'll link down there for the wonderful pendants that we have and necklaces. Um, this is your weeklies, no dailies until we finish this. Eight to the fifteen. Where has time gone by? Time after time. If you lost and you look and you will find me. Yep, you will find me. Okay, probably that's what your song is. Either that or living in a jet plane. There we go. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Marrying spread, we know it's different when we do the weeklies from um, the, all the reads. Two people here, okay, two tarot deck. We'll see how this person is, and then extended, we'll see how the um, other person is responding, and how both of you will work the connection. Here we go. Let's begin. Is for my... 
Libra. Here we go. In three months, they say, expect something good. Uh, I knew it. I knew it. The lovers. <laughs> if flip, I knew it. Something is gonna happen in the next three months. So what is it right now? Today's, uh, today, this month is what? March? This were March. April, May, June. Mmm. June babies. Cancerian people. Mm-hmm. We love a good Cancerian. A good Cancerian. Mm-hmm. I hear you. Mm -hmm. I hear you. Cancerians can be tricky. Okay, especially my camera. Okay, let me see. Okay, there you go. A little bit oh, The sun is so bright. I love this for you guys. But it's too much. You won't be able to see the card. Okay, here we go. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so three months. The sun is agreeing. Okay. Love is going to be born, I feel here. Um, compa uh, passionate, soulmate, whatever you want to call it. Okay, with the lover's card. I'm finally being with the one, I feel here also. If it's just one card, it's being with the one. Okay, of course, it's, that's it. Um, a connection that is finally like, this is it, Sal. I mean, I have to say this, but I can't, I won't be able to watch you anymore. I'll still watch your commercials, but, you know, not the reading. <laughs> Guess you're already with the one. Mm -hmm. Oh, my camera even flickered. Interesting. Nine of Pentacles, someone who's single, you know, someone takes care of their health. Um, this is known as the person who, um, who balances their schedule, who balances their bills, who is, um, this is a person, let's just say, who is an, an, an ideal Nine of Pentacles as, a, as an energy? Um, it's interesting that there is no celebrity that I feel like they're a Nine of Pentacles who's going to be good in a relationship. <laughs> okay, I can't. All the all of them are not they would have babies but not committing. <laughs> Who is ideal right now? There is no Ele Oh I know, but he's already committed. Chris Hemsworth. Okay? Thor. Okay? That's one. I believe Chris Evans is also. Mm-hmm. A lot of Chris. Mm-hmm. Maybe who's Chris? Chris Jenner? <laughs> That's a different Chris. Okay. So I have a nine of Pentecost. Um this person this person is that kind of they would take care of you for like you know like oh like a good amount of time let's just skip it that way i don't want to tell that you're going to die with this person chances are you will <laughs> that's why i just want to say good amount of time because i see the two of you growing old together and then see, i've seen you know the city and the state change already you understand me new buildings come down up and down and then the full card, oh wow, can be a new relationship, giving someone a chance with a full card, traveling towards to see you, um, a stable energy that is spiritual connection at the same time. Um, this is, uh, I'm just saying, this is a relationship where regardless you put God in your focus or, you know, the two of you put it, but I feel like there is a level of um, putting a higher being, okay, which is the source, in the center of the relationship. So that's very good. We want a good center. And just like jelly donuts. Mm -hmm. Hungry. <laughs> ah, goodbye to carbs. Goodbye to gluten. Hello to air. That's my diet. Air and water. Mm? Tic Tacs dessert. <laughs> with the full card energy here and the lovers, um, the person you're dealing with is a student, can be learning also. They always just like to learn. It's a Pisces card at the same time. So if it's a Pisces, I feel like they're going to be um, nakshatra wise. I forgot what is the. The smart nakshatra for the Pisces. It's, I think it's a Tara Bhadrapada, the one who, who's like a natural astrologer also, or a natural psychic. You can be this person. Under the Nine of Pentacles. Ah! I told you so! Here comes the bride. Or I don't know how to, how to call the groom, okay? There's no song for the groom. Hierophant. I told you. Well, Sal, so this is where we separate ways, okay? Okay, I know you're gonna leave me, Libra. You're gonna be with a wonderful person in a wonderful relationship with a hierophant. Someone is committed, traditional can be also. Oh, this is a person who goes traditional at, at some places and then they also do explore other stuff, okay, with a hierophant. Like, meaning it's like, okay, this is a relationship, but we can also, st uh, you know, step out of our box. Adventurous kind. Oh, and a chariot. Did I just call the Cancerian energy? Mm hmm. Here we go, because remember I told you three months time. Okay, underneath the hierophant. 
three of swords. Interesting. Mm -hmm. We would need to see what this is about because you're moving into a relationship. Okay. We would need to see what happened. At where? Why is there three of swords? Are you guys going to be together come three months and then there's going to be some cheating, lying, betraying? Okay. Or is someone here expressing their feelings that they're hurt? Okay. Also, are you walking into a relationship that will be good only for a certain time and then there's going to be some hurt? We'll see. We need to see that one here. Let me see here. Other tarot. We got here the Six of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, the Moon card. Oh, wow. There's a Moon in Cancer, so Natural Lord sitting. But I wonder what's the Three of Swords. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. So how it is how it works. You find you will find a successful love. Okay, here. Let me see. Six of Wands with the lovers. Successful relationship. Amazing. Yes. Single. Yes. The full card with the Six of Pentacles. Everything, everything was going smooth. Okay, you give them time. They date you. You text. They text. They reply. No games. Chariot with a Moon card. You get, you go into a relationship, but there's something that you don't know. Okay, and that's where the Three of Swords lies. We don't know yet. Okay, and that's why we're gonna continue this reading in the extended. We'll see what this is. Some this is big. This is big. It will throw you off guard. Okay, link down there in the description box for the extended. Have, you can be connected with the Taurus, Pisces, Gemini, Cancer over here also, and an Earth, Moon. I'll see you guys again. Libra, bye. The world. They're not sure of how, but they're sure. Nine of Wands, Nine of Cups, the Strength card. I feel like the devil. You're going to be so scared if you guys were intimate. Slow, slow it, slow it. Okay? Um, let them finish their own karma. We'll talk.